In this video, I'll be answering viewers' questions. Don't turn away, because all of that starts right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I had a blast during our recent live stream answering your questions during my Ask Me Anything MS. But I didn't get a chance to answer all the questions, and so I thought I would tackle a few of them right now. Let's jump in. Jerome Marshall asks, what is your personal opinion on acupuncture to fight MS? Jerome, I'm an allopathic MD, meaning I was trained in American medical school using lotions and potions to help people with multiple sclerosis. And truth be told, I have absolutely no training or background in acupuncture. From my vantage point, I view acupuncture as complementary therapy, which simply means I wasn't taught about it. Over the years, I've developed three guidelines or rules when I consider complementary therapy, and I would apply them to acupuncture. Number one, it can't be too expensive, and only you and your family can identify if a particular complementary therapy is too expensive. Now, oftentimes I'm told acupuncture is very reasonable, and in some cases may even be covered by insurance. Number two, it can't be dangerous. And to my limited knowledge, I don't think acupuncture poses a significant danger to the person receiving it. Number three, it can't be instead of something that I know works. So if you were to tell me that you wanted to take a disease-modifying therapy to slow down MS, and in addition wanted to use acupuncture to treat symptoms, I think that's awesome. And if you find it helpful, I want you to tell me about it so that I can turn around and tell other patients. If, however, you said, listen, I'm gonna do acupuncture instead of taking a disease-modifying therapy, at that point, I have some serious concerns. Excellent question, and thank you for asking. Real quick before we go on, if you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Thank you. Crystal Lee 121 asks, should I take probiotics? Now, the quick answer is, I can't give you advice over the interwebs, and I certainly don't have enough info to comment specifically for you. But there are some general comments that I would like to make. I find probiotics to be very helpful in many of my patients as it relates to gut health. It's well known that people impacted by MS have something called dysbiosis, which means the gut bacteria that populate their gut are the wrong kind, and those microbiome might not process food properly. I think this may play a role in slow gut motility and cause many of my patients to either have IBS type symptoms or really bad constipation. Probiotics are healthy gut bacteria. And so when you swallow them, you help repopulate the gut with a proper healthy microbiome. And at least in my experience, that really seems to help with gut behavior and gut health for people impacted by MS. Separate from this, there's an evolving literature looking at the microbiome, those gut bacteria, and how they interact with the immune system. And there's a developing belief that probiotics might actually play a positive role in MS. Now, it's a very complex topic and the jury is still out, but I have made a couple videos on the topic. I'll throw a card up above in case you wanna check it out. And again, thanks for the question. A second question comes from Christy Lee. Does medical marijuana help? Well, Christy Lee, I have found as a medical marijuana recommender in the state of Ohio that medical cannabis can help with some MS symptoms. I have found some great success in helping people manage spasticity, manage pain, manage insomnia, and manage anxiety using cannabis. I have not found it to be helpful with fatigue or cognition, and in fact, in some cases, it may make it worse. I have not found it to be helpful with bladder or with unsteady gait, ataxia. It also is not a disease-modifying therapy. That is to say, medical cannabis does not slow down multiple sclerosis, but it's another tool in the tool chest, and something that, in the right patient, can be very helpful, at least in my experience. The most impactful way that you could help this channel grow is by watching another video. So please consider clicking the video that's on your screen right now. And until my next Monday morning vid or my next monthly live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.